Time to Track is a web-based tool for graduate students, interns, and postgrads in the field of mental health. With Time to Track, you can keep track of your training experiences all in one place. From practicum to internship to licensure and beyond, Time to Track has you covered. In this video, we'd like to give you a brief introduction to getting started with the most trusted time tracking solution for graduate students in the field of mental health. Signing up for Time to Track is both quick and easy. There's no credit card required, and you can start tracking your hours in 60 seconds or less. Just visit our website at timetotrack.com, click Sign Up for Free, fill out the form, and click Start Free Trial. You'll get 30 days to try out the full version of Time to Track for absolutely free. You also have the option to go ahead and purchase a full subscription instead. Once you complete the sign-up process, you can start logging your hours. When you log in, you're taken to the Activities section. To add an activity, click Add a New Activity. Fill out the details of the activity, including the level, date, setting, and activity type. If you have a master's level account, you won't have a level field. Based on the type of activity you choose, you may or may not have the option to add a client to your activity. Most intervention and assessment activities allow clients to be added. We haven't added any clients yet, so let's go ahead and add one from this screen. Just click Add a New Client and fill out the client details. For individuals, couples, and families, you'll need to create a client code. The client code is a unique combination of up to six letters and numbers that identifies each of your clients. Make sure to be creative when creating your coding system and do not share your system with others. After filling in your client details, click Save and your client will be added to your activity. If you want to select a client that you previously added, just start typing the client code and a list of matching clients will appear. Then you can click the client you want to use. Enter the hours that you spent during this activity. If you spent a portion of an hour, you can use decimal place to show that part of an hour. If you administered any assessments during this activity, you can add these as well. Just click the plus next to Assessments and fill out the details. We have a pre-populated list of over 3,000 assessments to choose from, but if you don't find your assessment in the list, you can add a custom assessment. Just keep typing until you have the full name of the assessment you'd like to add. You'll then need to specify the number of assessments you administered. Make sure to only list an assessment once. To make tracking your time even easier, you can schedule an activity as recurring. Just click the plus by Schedule as Recurring and complete the details. You can schedule an activity to occur weekly or monthly. Make sure to specify the end date of the recurring series as well. Click Add and your activity has been created along with any recurring activities you've scheduled. Recurring activities will be labeled as Pending if they have already occurred or Scheduled if they're in the future. Once an activity is pending, you can confirm it or delete it depending on if you completed the activity or not. You can view your activities in a convenient list view as well. The list view makes it easy to confirm or delete activities in bulk. To confirm pending activities in bulk, just select the activities you'd like to confirm and click Apply. The Clients section allows you to view a list of all of your clients. You can also add and edit clients here. I've added some more individual clients so you can see how this works. To create a couple, family, or group on the fly, you can select the individuals you'd like to add, which will cause some options to pop up in the right column. You can then choose to create a couple, family, or group containing these individuals. The Assessments section shows you a list of all of your administered assessments. Click the name of an assessment to view all activities with that assessment attached, or to update any assessment totals not associated with an activity. Here, 
you can also log assessments without attaching them to an activity, which is helpful when you need to backlog assessments you've administered in the past. You can also update your integrated report totals, or test batteries, quickly and easily. One of the great features in time to track is the ability to add custom practicum or treatment settings. Just go to My Account, then Practicum Settings. Click Add a Practicum Setting, then give it a name and choose a setting type. Click Save, then you're done. Your custom practicum settings will appear in the setting drop-down when you're adding an activity. While activities are at the heart of time to track, its most powerful feature is its ability to create reports. All reports have options for filtering and printing signature pages for your supervisors. The Activity Summary Report shows you an overview of all of your hours. Here, you can also view graphs that show your hours both over time and by domain. Users with doctoral level accounts can also view their hours compared with averages for successfully matched APIC applicants from the past. The Demographic Summary Report gives you an overview of the demographic data for all of the different clients you've seen. The Activity Details Report allows you to report a list of all of your activities along with their relevant details. It also includes your activity totals along with totals for each practicum setting. Doctoral level users have access to the AAPI View Report. This report shows all of your hours in a format that mirrors the current APIC internship application. When it comes time to apply for internship, all you have to do is copy and paste your numbers onto the application. It's that simple. Master's level users have access to the Combined Summary Report. This report shows your hours by type and practicum setting, making it easy to submit a copy for approval. The My Account section allows you to update your profile. You can change your password, school, or update your degree program. In the Subscriptions section, you can purchase a new Time to Track subscription. Just choose your option and fill out the details. If you're a part of an institution that purchases accounts for its students, you'll see an additional option to pay with an authorization key. Feedback is very important to us. Please don't hesitate to send us your suggestions. After all, it is your suggestions that have helped Time to Track become the number one time tracking solution for graduate students in the field of mental health. We hope this video helps you get started with Time to Track, but we also have lots of great articles in our help desk. Just click Help, which will open a new window where you can search for articles, ask questions of other users in the Time to Track community, or submit support tickets to our outstanding customer service team.